Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to, today, to today's purse sale. I let everybody know on the little Insta stories last night that I have one heck of an amazing purse sale today. I'm really, really excited because I thrifted some super, super great, great name brand bags yesterday and they're all going to be for sale in today's video. So if you're interested, please know all purchases are final. Please ask all questions beforehand. No exchanges, no returns, no exceptions. That's just the way it goes. All items are used and I ship within the U.S. only and I only accept PayPal. Now, everything will be listed below this video, prices, and um, if it's sold or available, you'll be able to know. You'll know down in the, in the info box um, that's below this video after the video is over. So good morning, you guys. Good morning, Kristen and Mary. Good morning, Sparrow. Hi, Jenny. Hello, my friends. I've got some good, good bags, some really good bags, and I'm really, really excited for you guys. So I'm going to have a few people pop on when they when I see you guys popping on. I want to ask the question. My question the other day was, what color nail polish did Reed pick out for me? And I was very, very shocked that a lot of you got it. I was like, I didn't think anybody would guess this color. Um, but I'm, I love it. I got it done day before yesterday and I'm loving it. And it is orange. It's a super, why can't you tell on here? It's a super, um, wow, they look dark. They're actually a neon orange, you guys. Orange, orange. And I'm loving it. Look at this one now. Look what she did. It's so, so pretty. It's very, I wanted a boho design on my nails. But, and you guys, for some reason, it looks dark, but it's like a neon orange. That's what he asked me to get, so that's what I got, and I'm loving them. They're so fun. My toes, too. Got my toes. I won't hold my foot up. That's kind of gross, but I got my toes done orange and my nails done orange, and it was a whole lot of funny. Yes, bright, bright orange. So, thank you guys for guessing. That was fun. A lot of people did guess orange, which was really surprising because I thought everybody would say blue. Or something like that, since it's since he's the guy, you know. But the orange girls are the winner. All right, you guys. I hope everybody's ready because I have some really, really cute, cute bags today. Um, my room, you guys, I have been literally in thrift heaven. Every time I go, every single time I go, I get at least five or six designer bags. And, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and get started. So um, I think what I want to show you first was kind of blew me away yesterday when she brought the card out. Philip Lim wallets, you guys. Philip Lim. Not one. Oops. Not two. But three Philip Lim wallets. Okay. I was like, what the heck? So somebody must have loved the collection of them. I'm not sure what the deal was, but I have all three of them and they're all different. Same style, but they all have different leathers and accessories attached. So first I'm gonna show you the black smooth leather. This one has a brown strap that you can carry like this. Isn't that cool? The hardware is silver and all of these wallets are in excellent condition. So there's two zip around pockets. The first one looks like this, where you have the brown leather interior, a coin compartment. Now remember, every all three wallets are exactly made exactly the same, so I won't spend much time on all of them. I just want to show you the leathers. Two, three, and then this pocket opens up. And if you have additional cards that you don't want to keep in your you know, like you probably want to keep your license, maybe a debit card and a credit card on this side. Then over on this side, you keep all your extras. They are, they are new condition, thrifted, but new condition. And then on this side over here, you have the elastic band where you carry all your additional cards. And there's the Philip Lim. Uh, this is the 3.1 wallet, Philip Lim. Okay, so this is what the wallet will look like. And this one is just so cute because this one has the little handle strap on it, okay? So that's the black Philip Lim. 
Who else gets an itchy nose every time they start filming? Me. Okay, so that's black, smooth leather. Then we have like a snake, sort of like a suede vaquetta. And then this is the wristlet strap this one comes with. This one has this zipper pull, and then the insides are exactly the same. So it zips around on both sides. And then this one has a white little elastic band. And then that's what the inside of this one looks like. So exactly the same. But look at the leather on this one. It's so pretty. And so this one we're going to call just the, I'm just going to call this one the uh, tan leather, tan leather, Philip Lim. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hello, Rochelle. Hello, girlfriend. How you doing this morning, my love? It would be snakeskin. I mean, it's exactly the same. I don't, I don't know if it is real snakeskin because it feels more like a suede, but it's definitely got the little, it feels, it's got the feels to it, you know? And then this one is the taupe looking snakeskin one. And this one could be used as a freaking weapon <laughs> because it's got the studded wristlet on it. Hi, Carol. Studded wristlet. And it's the taupe leather snake looking skin. And then again, and all, let's see, this one has dark gunmetal hardware. This one has dark gunmetal hardware. And this one has silver hardware. Don't you love that strap though? I do. This is, these are like, these are like serious studs, man. And then here is this one. Okay, so if anybody's interested, this is going to be the studded. I'm going to call this one the studded Philip Lim. All right, and they're all in excellent condition, like new. So I got super, super lucky when I went in yesterday and she brought her card out. I was like, what is this? Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the purses. This also was on... Was this one on the cart or on the rack? I, I can't remember. But you guys, feast your eyes on this, baby. This is a C by Chloe Cherry crossbody bag. And it's in a bright coral color with um, brass hardware detail. And these right now are on, let's see, did I see it on the real reel for 500 and up? Okay, and it is in excellent condition. So it's so pretty, it's a smooth leather. So you can see that my nails are orange. So this is more of a like a watermelony pinky coral. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Then you open it up. It's got this adorable little cinch on the side with the tassel. And it opens really, really wide. It says C by Chloe right here. There's the zipper pocket and the inside. The two front pockets with the little chain pull. And then two pockets right here. The back is plain. And I love the way the straps are connected. It's so pretty. All right, so um, yeah, this, this thing is gorgeous. The leather is really thick and luscious and like soft, really soft, not heavy. Um, then you just cinch it in and it gives it a whole new little shape. Okay, so this is the C by Chloe. All right, I found this one yesterday. This is a Rebecca Minkoff black large tote. And a very, very tiny pebble leather. 
There's your Rebecca Minkoff label. It has feet on the bottom. And it's got a pocket underneath here. Which one, Jenny? The um, the C by Chloe or the Rebecca Minkoff? This is large. This is a large tote if this is what you're talking about. Okay, and then snap top. And the inside has uh, three slip pockets and a zipper pocket. So beautiful, smooth leather Rebecca Minkoff tote. The Chloe is a, I'd say it's a medium. It's a medium. Let me find something small. This is a small crossbody. This is a little coach. I'll go ahead and add this one in too now. But this is small, so I'd say medium. I'll do this one next, you guys. Okay, so now I wasn't going to do it today, but I will. This is a little coach Jacquard Signature C crossbody. And then it's got a front zipper pocket and black leather trim. It's got the little coach um, zipper pull. And there's a zipper pocket on the inside. Still has the little black hang tag which is crooked on there right now. There we go. The little black coach hang tag. And yeah, so this is my little signature C sateen style. It's not the jacquard, it's actually the sateen. Coach bag. All right, let's do this Michael Kors. This was also, I picked this one up yesterday. I just sold this one in vanilla, and now I have it in black. This is, I forget the name of this one, but it's really cool. I love the chain straps on it. Kim, next time you show bags, can you show them with a manila file so we can see if it, we could make it work? Well, that'd be great if I had a manila file, <laughs> file folder, but I don't. So this is the black with silver and black resin hardware chain. Let's see, what do I have that I could? Oh, you know what? What about one of my shipping packages? Do you guys know how big this is? This. I can do it with this. This is like a, let's see. I'll use this as comparison, okay? So, like, for instance, we'll just go like that. I don't know. You tell me. So, anyways, this is a really, really pretty bag. It's got the black crossbody strap. It's got the top handles. And then this is what the inside looks like. I will measure for you as soon as I get done with this bag. I'm looking for my measuring tape. Looks like somebody might have used it. Ooh. Okay, so on this pocket, in this pocket over here, you have two slip pockets and you have the center zip. And then, and what you see inside the little white flakes are paper. I have a eyelash or a hair tickling my face. Okay, and then on this side, you have two more slip pockets and a zipper pocket. And you have your key lanyard and your Michael Kors emblem. Super cute. Love this one. And... There you have that one with a crossbody strap that you can adjust or take off. Now, let's see if I can find 
my measuring tape for you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'll go get Randy's measuring tape. Cause, oh, wait, nope, that's not it. Hang on, guys. Okay, just kidding, I found mine. Hi, babies. Come on. Hello, little babies. Okay, found mine. Okay, the Rebecca Minkoff is right here. And she measures 15 this way from top to bottom, 20. And then this is a large tote. And then this way is six. Okay, 15, 20 by six. 15 by 20 by six. Okay. All right, let's see. What else could we do now? How about we do this Brighton? Beautiful. This was also thrifted yesterday, and I've never thrifted one like this before. So it's a large pebbled leather top handle Brighton. You can take the strap off if you like. I don't even have magazines. I'm a minimalist in this place. Other than this room, I don't buy magazines. I don't, like, you guys, I just don't. That's why I have a measuring tape. If you want to know the size, I have a measuring tape because I don't have... I'll have junk laying around. I just, I, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> so here is the front of this bag. Great top handle. Look at the leather on this. It's a really large pebble. Then there's this pocket in the back. Get your little hang tag out. Okay. What are you guys barking at? Then open this up. There's a little slip pocket right here. Yeah, you know, I just, trust me, when you live with Randy, because he, God knows I love him, but he collects stuff, and the garage, and the patio. That's why I never do any videos out back. I can't. So when it comes to me, you ain't going to find anything extra in my house that has to do with me. Randy's got his stuff and Reed's just like I am. We both like just get, get rid of stuff. Just throw it away. Just throw it away. But uh, Randy, no, he's very different. We are 200% different in that aspect. And oh, I guarantee you, I could find a magazine out there somewhere from him, probably from 1925. But me, I don't have any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. It's got this really pretty thick key lanyard, and look, it's attached by a little Brighton heart. There's your Brighton Creed, two slip pockets and a zip pocket. And just love this one, it's so pretty. So uh, yeah, if you have any measurement uh, questions, I'll be glad to use my measuring tape because I do have one of those and that's about it. Coffee time. A bowl, I bring my bowl of coffee just about every single video. <clears throat> All righty, well, let's do a Marc Jacobs. Yes, I have this adorable Marc Jacobs crossbody, also thrifted yesterday. You guys, yesterday was the best. It's a black pebble, pebbled leather crossbody in excellent condition. Okay, and then there's a pocket on the front. Will do, Jenny. I'll get that right after this one. And then the inside's got the little zipper pocket. It says Marc Jacobs. It has the adjustable crossbody strap. And it's beautiful. 
it's just beautiful. This is a pocket. I don't speak Spanish, Yolanda. I should. I wish I did, but I don't. That's why I never comment on anybody that uh, questions or answers gives me a comment in my section in Spanish. I'm like, so, okay, so mi gusta means something, my purse color, my purse color, I have no idea what mostaza means, they saludo, something, you salute me, you're happy, and you live in Arizona? Did I get some of that right? Yes, U.S. only. Yep, anybody from Europe is welcome to watch and comment all you like, but I only ship within the U.S., good old U.S. of A. All right, guys, so that's my Marc Jacobs. Okay, Jenny, you wanted me to measure the bag. Okay, we will measure this Chloe for you. So, let's do back here. From top to bottom is ten and a half inches. Now, cinch. Uh, let me cinch it because that'll give you the smaller dimensions, and then I will open it up and give you the larger dimensions as well. So let's cinch her up to the smallest part, like this. And now let's do it across, and I'll show you. The largest across is eleven inches. And then when you uncinch it and snap it, uncinched like this will be, okay, no strap. I won't do the strap. This across would be 13 inches uncinched and then the part right here, this part. Yes, I know. Tell me about it. You think I want you? You know I love Harley's and I love orange. You think you think this one's easy to get rid of? <laughs> no, this one's one I want to keep. Three inches on that. How's that, Jenny? Was that? What did that work for you? Yeah, I this is this is a me purse. See by Chloe. Yes, ma'am. And this is the cherry. It's called the cherry bag. Cherry, cherry, cherry. Let me just cinch your back up. I love this. <sighs> hmm. I just really like I really like this one. When I saw it, I was like, oh Lord. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, next we're going to do, 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 do. let's do, 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 this gorgeous, okay, I'm not going to say the name on this. Who can guess the name on this one? I'm not going to say what name it is. Who knows what this is? Let me know what the name, okay, I'll put it down so you can't see. No, I'm not keeping it. If I kept every bag I wanted, I'd never have a sale. <laughs> nope, 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 not keeping it. We have college coming up. We have vacations to take. We have bills to pay. I'm not keeping it. It is twin set. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, do you guys know what this one is? Do you know what this one is? Because I'm going to show you in all its glory in a second. I'm just waiting to see what you guys think. This gorgeous ivory pebbled leather, smushy, smushy, smush, Mark Jacobs. Nope, but it does look like it, doesn't it? You love them. Me too, Claire. I love them. Claire, you got my nails right. You picked orange. You got them right. It is a bet. Yeah, it does. Oh, it, twin set. Oh, I never heard of twin set. I learn something new every day. It's not coach. It's not coach. Okay. I'll, I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Mulberry, no. <sighs> Girlfriend, Beverly, I admire I admire my ability to let things go too. <laughs> it's, you know why? I honestly think why. I think it's because I don't like to have a lot of stuff. I think that's the only reason why. 
Nope, it's not Brighton. It is Michael Kors, you guys. This is a beautiful, large, pebble leather bone Michael Kors bag. Vintage. This is one of his older um, collections with beautiful silver hardware on it. And then um, I love, I love this. This one, too, has these really cool cinch tabs on the sides. You can use it or not. I have it cinched right now. You open it up. It still has the magnetic snap, like real smushy top closure that opens up like this. And then look at the size of this bag. Jenny, you may want this one. This one's a big bag. This one might be calling your name, Jenny. And if you know my Jenny, she loves her bags big, like car big. Now you can't fit your Cadillac in here, but you could probably fit your smaller BMW in here. So here's the inside. It is like new, it's beautiful. All the pockets, it's just the leather on it is lush leather. Really, really pretty. Um, lots of pockets. This is a slip pocket and a zipper pocket. Same on this side, slipper and a zipper. And then this is a magnetic snap pocket here. And look how clean and pretty it is, you guys. It's beautiful. Then you have the bottom is in excellent condition. Yes, girl, those bigger buckles are everything. I, I'm a buckle girl. I like buckles. What don't I like when it comes to a purse? And those are magnetic snap buckles. So then you can just, you know, leave the little centers open if you want and just snap it. And it looks like this. Or if you want to give it a different shape. Let me move this down a little. If you want to give it a little different shape, just cinch it in and you have an additional closure to it. And it has little silver tabs at the end and it's gorgeous. Okay, so that's a Michael Kors, a vintage Michael Kors. All right, um, I know yesterday somebody really, really wanted to see this one and I didn't have time to take pictures. This is a super pretty lightweight, um, genuine leather in, I've had people call it eggplant. I call it like a French purple. But to me, eggplant has more a little more of a red to it. This doesn't have any red undertones to it. It more has blue undertones to it. And this is, a, did I say this was a St. John's, St. John's Bay, I want to oh. say. Yes, this is a St. John's Bay and it's brand new condition. Hobo, side pockets, front zipper pocket, nice wide shoulder strap, uh, brass hardware, very smooth leather. <clears throat> and the inside is very clean with a zipper pocket and open pockets by St. John's Bay. And you guys know, this is my favorite color purple the, the like bluish grayish purple, that's my favorite. MC bag, MC bag. I'm not sure what MC bag you're talking about. Okay, so if you like that. Now let's do, I struck gold again, again, at a different thrift store. I found a Paloma Picasso Mini. So I've got one this size that we all know. Guess who owns that one? I'm sure you'll guess that one. It's probably about that size. Then I thrifted this one in about this size and it was purchased right away. And then yesterday I found this little beauty. Hi, Kathy. And I'm just like super, super stoked. Paloma Picasso. Yep. Jenny got the big one. Hey, if it's super big, my girl, she'll she'll take it. It's hers. She goes, she goes to get it. And she's not gonna waste no time. So let me show you the inside. It's just precious. 
Here's the inside, and this is a super cute little zipper pocket. Maybe you want to put, if you don't have a wallet you want to put in here, you can put your cards, coins, cash in this little pocket. So cute. It says Paloma Picasso on the plaque. And then you have this pocket. Isn't this so cute, you guys? And it's like a double snap, and then it's a little chain tote style. This is another one I wanted to keep. Oh, I love this so much. It's so cute. It's so darling. Isn't it so pretty? Very smooth, authentic, genuine leather. Pull on the Picasso. Um, okay, let's do this coach bag. I might have a coach bag lover out here. Jenny, this is a huge one. <laughs> this is a coach. Got it yesterday, and it's in amazing condition. It's the black jacquard signature with leather trim. It has the two front pockets that work great. Two side pockets with the twist lock closure. Leather trim, zip top, rolled leather handles, leather bottom. The back has a nice zipper pocket. I thought something was in there. It was just the little leather zipper pull. Okay, and then the top zip closure. And this one I didn't even have to stuff because it holds its, it holds its shape. So this one's not stuffed and you can see that its shape holds very well. And it's got your zipper pocket with the Coach Creed. And two additional open pockets on this side. Okay, so this is a jacquard fabric with leather trim. Black. It may look chocolate brown on my camera, but it's definitely black. So this is going to be called the Coach Black. Yeah, because I don't have another one like it. So, yeah. Coach Black Tote. Yep. Some of you guys go very prepared, right? Not me, I don't. <laughs> you guys want to see my bag of the day? I'll show you my bag of the day. This is not for sale. I'm just showing you my bag of the day if you want to see how I live over here. I'm a busy, busy gal, so I have my backpack. This is a lounge fly, Tinkerbell. This is mine. This is what I'm using at the moment. So yeah, that's mine. That's what I'm using at the momento. Show the mustard one again. Mustard. Uh, I don't know what mustard. I didn't show a mustard bag. I have a brown Brighton, like a camel brown. If you mean this one, I have that. Oh, the Brighton. Okay, that's why I was right then. It's gorgeous. It's in beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful condition. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, let me show you one that, here it is. You guys ready for this vintage coach? Look at this. I thrifted this yesterday. Yes, I did. I cleaned it up and it looks like it just came off the coach runway. Okay, these do not come with it. These are my charms, but I just want to show you what you can do to zhuzh it up if you like. Um, like I said, these are mine. I'm not selling them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off now. I just wanted to show you how gorgeous it is with the charms on there. Okay, so I'm gonna take them back off because yeah, like I said, I have bags that I like to wear my charms on as well. So you can go purchase yourself off eBay or something, the coach outlet, whatever you like. But this is the bag. And it is in fantastic, fantastic condition. It has the back slip top pocket. 
and it's a raw leather on the inside. This bag was made in Korea. I made sure to check for you guys. It is authentic. Um, you want the measurements on this bag, Kristen? Is that the one you're talking about? When you ask for measurements or whatever, please put the bag that you want measurements on because there's a lag. Okay. There is the pocket here. And then the inside is phenomenal. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. Look at the inside of this bag. It's phenomenal. Look at the coach um, zipper pull. Right there. And the creed is in there. There's no way I can show you the creed except for going like, like that. It is in there, though. It's right there. The stamped creed. Okay, sure, no problem. And then, yes, I showed you the pocket. Let me show you the leather up close. The hardware on it is amazing. And then the measurements on this is... I think it's ten and a half. Come on, thing. Help me out here. Okay, so it's ten and a half this way. And then from here to here is nine and a half. And then this way is three and a half. Approximately three and a half. And then the strap so happy the strap was with it i was super super stoked and it is adjustable gorgeous gorgeous vintage coach okay oh let's see now i'm going to do this kuba a vintage kuba look how cute is this baguette and it's in a vaquetta leather and this type of leather comes natural scratches. You're gonna get scratches on it. You're gonna, it's gonna show age, and that's what makes it so special, so pretty. I'll show you up close. If you don't like scratches on a bag, you don't like that worn look, you don't like the rustic kind of um, saddle look, then you're not gonna like this bag because this is I do. This is my kind of purse for sure. Um, it's an adorable baguette, vintage. Snap closure. Here's the inside. It says Kuba with a zipper pocket. And then it also says Kuba right there. And it's just a beautiful little baguette in a all leather, all genuine leather hide. Okay, then let's do this was another crazy, amazing find. Check this one out, you guys. This color is almost black. It's such a dark green. And it's the softest, most durable leather ever. It's got silver hardware. It comes with these really pretty tassels. The strap is very chunky. The, the hardware is nickel, very chunky. Um, this is at a shoulder length right now with a very large leather strap on top, but all you have to do is unsnap it, adjust it to the length you like, put the little snaps back on, and you have a crossbody. And this is just, it's so cool. It's really utilitarian and gorgeous and will go with everything, and the tassels just make it. So the tassels are the zipper pull. It also has the little coin on it. This bag is made in Paris, I believe, by L-O-U-I-S-O-N, Louis Luzon. The details on this bag are really, really nice. And here is the interior. Very, very soft, very lightweight, 
and genuine leather. Nice wide base. And in excellent brand new condition. Okay. L-O-U-I-S-O-N. And then, last but not least, for my vintage guest lovers, I have this sweet little nylon guest with leather trim. This is like a hobo style baguette. And it looks a lot like the Gucci that I thrifted and sold. Has a nice front snap pocket. And a little zip top. Closure. There's a zipper. It says guess on the little metal hardware. It says guess right here. Okay, you guys. Oh, those are that's leather. It's trimmed in leather, so you guys can see that. Okay. Okay, so do I have any questions on any of the bags that I've shown you today? If so, please ask them now because I have a very busy day today and probably won't get around to too many questions. I'll do the best I can. Beverly, I've shown all the bags I'm going to show today, but thanks for asking. Oh, no problem, Claire. No problem. If you like something behind me, stay tuned because I have more bag sales to come, obviously. Okay, I don't see any questions. The clasp like Gucci you had. Yes, it is, Jenny. My little one walking around. You're talking about the white MK, or the bone, not white. Jenny gots to make sure that car is going to fit. It's, there you go. Leather purple bag. Girl, your taste, talent, oh, thank you, Marilyn. I am. I'm very busy. I am very, very busy, but that's good. I love being busy. I can't stand, stand sitting around. Leather purple bag. What about it, Liz? You have to let me know what your question is, my love. All right, you guys. Is that it? You show's purple bag. You show's purple bag. I, sh I did. I did show that one. Okay, you guys want to see any more of the bags? Re feel free to rewatch the video because I'm going to go list now. Stay humble, stay kind, and I will see you. How big is the purple bag? <laughs> it's medium size. It is 12. 12? 12, 13 by 8 by 6. Bye, guys. See you later.